Hi, welcome to this final painting of this lecture and in this lecture I'm going to paint the eye. So let's start. So first let's select the eyeballs, go to sub tool and select it. So then let's feel a kind of off white color. So I first feel kind of a little bit pink side of it's white but a little bit pink side. Now I'm not concerned about this material so I'm just choosing this RGB right now. So let's go to color and fill this object. So now it's going to just fill the color because I have set just to RGB. So let's go and fill this white color, off white color, fill object. Now it's set. My material is skin material. So let's change change it to kind of basic blue or something. Doesn't matter because I'm going to change the material for the eye later. There's a specific material for that. So now let's paint this iris. First, I'm going to divide this mess. As you can see, I don't have much polygons there to paint the details. Now, if you turn on this poly frame, you can see I have very few polygons there. So let's divide it. So let's go to geometry and click on this divide button. So it's like smoothing it and it's adding divisions. So let's turn on this. You can see now I have a lot of polygons there so i think i should divide it once more okay that's fine now i'm going to do the iris so let's go to this uh, this stroke and change this to drag and let's change the alpha to something like alpha 14 this is a very crisp alpha now let's change the color to something like dark green he has a green eyes so i'm going to choose a green color but the dark green for the base here something like this and now if i drag you can see the rgb intensity is too low that's why i'm not getting the color so let's make it 100 percent and now let's try now it's fine but the fall off of this no brush you can see the alpha is too blurry here to the side to solve that i can change this focal shift and focal shift just look at this brush center you can see i have two circle the center circle adjust the focal so let's decrease this now you can see here my brush focal size is changing so something like this now from the inner circle to the outer circle it's going to blur so now the blur is very tight you can see so now i'm going to put the eyeball you no know, color and I have to do both sides so let's turn on symmetry by pressing X key and now I'm going to start I'm trying to get it at the right location first I think this is fine uh, now I'm going to once I put that I'm going to blur the side a little bit so let's blur by using shift and make sure you don't have any GR or GSOP so next once i put this next i'm going to put the inside people black people so let's change this color to black and let's drag the people here and here i want some kind of blurriness so let's increase it something like this maybe i think this is fine let's blur it a bit Okay, that's fine. Now I'm going to choose this dark green by the sampling it and let's choose a dark green and make sure to turn off the alpha and freehand, choose freehand and now I'm going to darken the upper side of the iris. So this is the trick I always use, makes the upper eye dark, upper iris dark which creates kind of a lighting effect and make it dark and you can again create a border dark border to the iris something like this a dark border just paint it with freehand very dark top and now I'm going to put some color variation because now it has a monochromatic green color. So let's put some kind of yellow tint to it and some kind of bright color to this area. So the upper is dark and this area uh, is a little bit brighter. So 
something like this now i'm going to put some some kind of variation like this tricks you can put this kind of effect just line few lines you can put that something like this not at the top dark area so let's make that dark again you can put some dark color tone here something like this little bit detail now this is done now i'm going to change the material color now it doesn't have the specularity of the eye so for the eye i have a very good shader so let's go to this material and choose shader called toy plastic so select that and you can see it, the eye specularity is there and still the eyeball white part is too white or too clean let's select a kind of pink color and let's put that to the eye border area like these areas and let's make this let's make it a little bit reddish kind of the blood vessels or something this corner i tend to like paint it reddish and all these border touching areas and you can put it like a line like this like a shadow and let's make this red just the center eye would be white and everything else would be a little bit reddish here pink reddish you can see i can see I got that now I'm going to put some vein on the eye so let's select the alpha which which is alpha 22 here and let's put some you no know, veins on the eye so now let's drag just drag and let's drag now I don't want too intense there so let's make it a bit reddish and let's decrease the intensity here so now I can put some vein on the eyes. You can see very realistic looking veins. Something like this. Now I'm going to put this cornea iconia on the head. So let's select the head by alt clicking or you can select it from here. So let's turn off the alpha free hand. And I'm going to put this pink color here as well. okay something like this so in the next lecture i'm going to show you how to render this piece and uh, we're going to wrap up this module